Good morning, my name's Richard Lanner, rhymes with Canon. I had a bit of a late night last night, went to bed around one, got a little bit carried away with work. Sophie ended up painting until about 11, I think, she got back later. I was woken up by Molly about seven o'clock this morning, so I didn't get my full seven hours of sleep, whereas Sophie slept until about 10.30. The plan for this morning is we've got Molly. She hasn't got nursery today. So she'll stay with me this morning. Sophie will go over to the tea room to start painting and doing and working on the tea room. I will then take Molly over to the tea room a bit later on and we will swap. Welcome to the vlog. Look, there's still a bit of daylight. I was just here, but I just had to drop the girls off because Molly has to have her jabs today and I can't watch that. I've got an appointment in a bit, so I can't stay. I'll attack, finish off that bit. I really want to get on with that window, but I may save that for tomorrow. It may get started tonight and then I can go over it. It's hard to know what to wear when you haven't got painting clothes. I haven't got paint on any of my clothes. Once you do, that they become your painting clothes, but until that point, they're just clothes. So I think I've pretty much nominated this worktop. I don't know if you've ever seen the garden because every time I've been here, mostly without doing the tour, it's been dark. It's pretty much dark today as well, but I may, oh, I could show you. Maybe I could get up there. Just a tiny bit of garden. There is also another cool place, actually. I think while it's daylight, I'll just show you the outside. All the bits that I couldn't show you before. And this could be considered my new favorite place where I can get away from it all and no one can bother me, apart from the people in these flats. And I should probably also show you the front from the outside, just so you can see. It's got all the old name of the previous place. So this place was previously an Indian restaurant. Now, there was a few bits left, but most of that's been taken out. And luckily we've got some of the furniture that's been left. So effectively we need to convert this from an Indian restaurant to a tea room. And to be fair, the landlady did organize a lot of the work. She had a guy in called Jake and he has literally stripped a lot of the walls, made a lot of things good and basically gave us a really good head start in getting this place ready. So. So it's just a case of getting the green on the inside and on the outside, and I do need to take that sign down. So probably something to do tomorrow because I'll have the day. I say that every day and then the whole morning either gets eaten up or something like that. So I think I'll do a little bit of painting just for sort of half an hour or so, just while I wait for my appointment. For the record, this is a fantastic Bluetooth speaker. And, wait. The trick to playing music and testing a speaker is to play music that you actually have a license for. After that appointment, I ended up coming home because 
Molly wasn't feeling too well after a jab. She's fallen asleep. Couldn't really bring her back to the tea room or anything like that. So we've eaten and Sophie's now gone to the space to carry on and I am staying with Molly. So now I need to make a video for the tea room Facebook page. I know I'm already making a video with this. So effectively I'll be making two. The one for the tea room Facebook page is more of an announcement. Whereas with you guys, I will be answering the question that is today's title in the why a tea room? Well, now it's not like we started the business on a whim. Sophie ran and baked all the cakes for a, a tea room that used to be in Cheltenham. It was small, but very popular. And Sophie built that from the ground up. She decorated the walls. The room that she started the tea room in was actually hairdressers. And uh, so she started it from scratch and the room had its limitations, but she made it work. Long story short, and I can't go into too many details because that may ruin a book. Effectively, she's no longer any part of the other tea room. It's now gone and it's never coming back. So this sort of happened and it was quite sudden. Sophie was really upset by the whole thing. So we've had many chats over this upsetting time and Sophie had a couple of options. She could get a job somewhere and that's it. Never ever do anything like she's been doing for the last four and a half years. But we found that space. We started looking just to have a look around and we found it, we visited the space. It had been empty for a while. Now one of the reasons why it was empty is because it was marketed as a restaurant. Now for a restaurant that space could be classed as quite small. I mean the kitchen compared to some of the restaurant kitchens out there is quite small but to Sophie it was literally the size of her other tea room. So she's in her element. She's got absolutely a brand new canvas to play with and she'll make it great. So, so quick update, um, Molly woke up again and Sophie was painting until very late again, but she seems to have made quite a bit of progress. And now they're both in bed. So I need to go to bed now and let's do this all again tomorrow. Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, Click the bell button if you want to be notified first about my video. And otherwise, until next time.